Hey Cozy Gamers, it's May and welcome back to the channel. This year has been full of amazing cozy games and let me tell you there is only more to come. And there are some that I literally just cannot wait for any longer. The anticipation is driving me mad. So I thought today that I would share with you all the upcoming cozy games that I just cannot wait for. These are upcoming cozy games that I really believe that you guys should be keeping your eyes and ears out for, as I truly believe that they're gonna be some of the best games yet. Well, let's get right into today's video. first game that I wanted to share with you all is called Lost and Found Co. This game is adorable and so much fun. Playing the demo actually ruined me. I got to the end of the demo and cried just a little bit inside because I just wanted more. I like craved more of this game. Lost and Found Co. is a whimsical hidden object game where you help Ducky and May grow their company all about finding lost items. This game gives this fuzzy warm feeling of nostalgia as it is based on those I Spy puzzle books of our childhood. This game is full of story, fun, and challenging levels and it is just downright wholesome. This game does not have an official release date, but what I do know is that there does plan to release on Steam soon. And if you want to check out this adorable and fun game, you can play the demo right now. Up next, we have a game that has technically already released, but it is still in early access, and this is Go Go Town. I feel like I have been non-stop talking about this game, but for very good reason, because I do believe it is going to be a game changer in the cozy gaming world. It brings all of the elements from some of our most favorite games, such as Animal Crossing, and kind of mashes it all together to make this cozy, town management game. In Go Go Town, you'll be able to build and decorate the town of your dreams, convert tourists into townies, terraform, and try to save the town from any major catastrophes. This game is in early access right now on Steam, but it does plan to release on consoles such as the Nintendo Switch upon its full release next year. Our next highly anticipated game is Camper Van Make It Home. I have been watching the development of this game for quite some time now and what feels like forever. And unfortunately, we still do not have a release date for this game, but it looks like the perfect casual relaxing game similar to the game Unpacking. In Camper Van, you will be able to interact with pieces of furniture to find out all the possibilities they have to offer. Organize all the items in your luggage, interact with items to discover new secrets, and discover new vans and new destinations. This game plans to release on PC and the Nintendo Switch soon, but if you really need a taste of it, you can check out the demo now on Steam. Up next, we have an absolutely beautiful freeform building game, and the graphics alone just make me want to grab this game as soon as it's released, and this is Tiny Glade. Tiny Glade is a relaxing, freeform building game with no management, no combat, and no wrong answers. You could truly just kick back and relax as you build beautiful castles and turn forgotten meadows into lovable dioramas. This game is planning to release later on this year on Steam and might be the perfect relaxing game to add to your gaming library. This next game is a farming sim that I am absolutely dying to play. This game has beautiful pixel art, a beautiful color palette, and just so much character. And this game is Fields of Mystria. Fields of Mystria is a farm life sim all about restoring a town to its former glory after a devastating earthquake wreaks havoc on the village. But something seems strange after this earthquake. Magic seems to be flowing throughout the land. Fields of Mystria has all your typical farming sim features such as farming, fishing, mining, and crafting along with romance, magic, and more. This game releases an early access on Steam August 5th, and I truly think that it will be taking over my life upon its release. This next game is another pixel art style game, but it is very different from the last one. In this game, you will be able to manage your own supermarket in the town of Bloomkest. This game is Discounty. Discounty is a life sim game all about managing a local store that your aunt 
so kindly gift it to you. You will be able to design and organize your shop, manage stock levels, work the checkout, and strike trade deals. This game is giving Supermarket Simulator meets Stardew Valley, and I am so here for it. Unfortunately, we will not be seeing this game this year as it does have a planned release date of 2025, but oh boy, will this game be on my radar. Our next game is a little bit different than the other ones. Some of you may think that this falls into the realm of cozy gaming, and some of you might think otherwise. This game is all about a princess who has lost her knight and some other people within her kingdom, and it is up to her to help and save them. This is The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. In Echoes of Wisdom, you finally play as Princess Zelda as she fights to save her kingdom. You will team up with a mysterious fairy named Tri and a magical Tri Rod to create echoes of items you discover around Hyrule. This game will be full of puzzles, combat, and cute little characters. This game will be releasing on September 26th this year on the Nintendo Switch, and I cannot wait to play. Okay, okay, now that I've gotten my Zelda obsession out of the way, let's get right back on track. This next game does not have a release date as of yet, but as soon as I saw the trailer for it, I knew that I had to keep up with all the news about this game. This game is Crokewood. Crokewood is a creative, relaxed, town-building sim all about frogs and nature. You will be able to design and create structures, plan and decorate towns, explore an ancient and wild forest, and manage the frog market to guide these tiny amphibians as they settle in and learn to thrive. This game looks so adorable and I cannot wait for the developers to announce its official release date. Our next game that I have been highly anticipating has been in development for some time now and will continue to be in development, but it will be entering alpha testing later on this year in December, and then its early access will launch hopefully sometime next year in 2025. This game is a solar punk MMO called Loftia. Loftia is a cozy solar punk game where MMO meets farming, crafting, customizations, exploring, and much more. This game is still actively in development, but they do plan on releasing this to both the PC and the Nintendo Switch, and it truly looks like the fun community-based game that this cozy gaming world needs. Now last but certainly not least, this game I have been following I think since the developer announced that they were going to start making a game. This game is a cozy cafe sim called Tailside. Tailside is a charming open-ended RPG where you will discover the joys of running your own cozy cafe. From brewing the perfect cup of coffee to building friendships with the town locals, this game truly looks like the cozy coffee game that I need. This game does not yet have a release date, but this is one to definitely keep your eyes and ears out for. Well, there you have it. Those are my cozy games that I am highly anticipating. I hope you found some as well that you'll be keeping your eye out for. Definitely let me know down in the comments which one you are most anticipating or if you're wondering about all of them. If you liked today's video, make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe for even more cozy game content. And if you ever want to catch me live playing cozy games such as the ones that I've talked about today, you can catch me over on Twitch where I am live four days a week. I think that wraps it up for this one. I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye bye.